Hey everybody, how are you on this beautiful, lovely day? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about stock photos. You guys, have you ever tried to find a nice stock photo for a project you were working on or for a thumbnail you were trying to create or for a background that you needed for any reason and you just couldn't find the right stock photo? Well, I'm here to tell you today that sometimes you just have to create your own. So I have officially started today for the first time trying to make and create my own stock photo images, you guys, and I wanna bring you along the way so that you can see how I did it. All right, let's get into it. So in order to do stock photos, you need a few items. You need a white poster board, a two light backdrop kit, or you can use a window with bright light coming through. You need a tripod, and a white portable backdrop for balancing light. So here I have the tripod, the two light backdrop kit, a white poster board on a table, and a white portable backdrop behind the poster board for balancing light off of itself and the white poster board to the photo when the photo is taken. This setup is for an indoor studio use. So if you're not taking your photos during the daytime and you don't have any daylight to take your stock images with, perfect setup for you to still take professional stock image photos. So the items used for the first setup are a DSLR camera, a notebook with a nice motivational quote, a pink faux flower, and brochures for my company. So to get this stock image photo set up, I just started to nicely and neatly place all of my chosen items onto the white photo cardboard. Um, no particular order, no rhyme or reason. I just started placing the items um, on the cardboard. I thought that this would be a nice stock image photo for maybe uh, photographers that want to showcase a camera, uh, but also want to put a nice soft effect to the photo. So that's why I chose the flower. And then I added uh, some to the photo so that it could give it a professional feel. And a nice little quote that says, if you can dream it, you can do it. So here I restaged the scene. I ended up getting some more wood-like elements, um, some wood-like candy bowls, and I added a cell phone to the photo just to switch it up a little bit to see a different look. I went for another look and I went and grabbed a funny because it's always good to promote your brand in your company. So I grabbed that, I re-put the DSLR camera in the scene and I added a pair of glasses. You guys, the point of this is to really make sure that you're getting stock photos that you think people will reuse, but you also wanna make sure that if you're creating them, you want to also make them usable for yourself as well. So just play around with it, try different things out. And again, I took the same setup, put the notebook back in to give it a little positive quote to the photo and I added the flower back in as well for a softer touch. So this is the setup that you can use for when you don't have studio lighting and you still want to take some great stock photos. So you can, uh, in place of a table, as you can see, I used two chairs here and I just propped the white poster board on the two chairs, uh, pod in front of the board. And then instead of a white backdrop, I'm actually using the white side of a reflector once again, so that you can bounce the white light off of the reflector and the whiteboard to the actual photo when you take the picture. That makes for some really bright and crisp photos um, at the end of your shoot. So once again, I use pretty much the same elements that I use for the studio session photos, except I added a um, another pair of glasses. This pair of glasses actually matched the color of the flowers. I added another notebook that had really nice cool kindness around my confetti. Something really fun that someone may want to use for, 
I don't know, someone may want to use this for their website or uh, whatever they need a nice stock photo for something bright and airy or a motivational quote that they would like to post on Instagram. There are a lot of different ways that you can use stock images and so I just thought that this was a fun look. And again, so I just played around with the scene. I added a pin in there and I added a USB uh, box where I normally use these to customize how I give my photos to my clients. And so this was me to get a stock image that also branded my company. And here again, I just switched out the notebook. Always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn. Then always be a unicorn. <laughs> again, I branded uh, my company by throwing in uh, my USB box. And it just turned out to be a really pretty picture. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit. And I said, I think that I'll try to see if I can take a stock image of some fruit so I went in my fridge and I got some strawberries and I just started playing around with the strawberries you guys you can take stock images of pretty much anything and I noticed that when I look for stock images I always see pictures of uh, just random one of them or candy or um, just odd things that you wouldn't think people would need stock photos for but they do come in handy so I just started playing around with these strawberries and took a photo. And just to switch up the look, I started adding more strawberries to get another look, another feel. Who doesn't like yummy strawberries? So I thought this was a really nice one to have. So yeah, you guys, this was a really fun project. Stock photos are used to enhance projects uh, and to make a impact on different content that you are trying to achieve. Uh, you can not only use them for your business, but you can use them for other things. I know a lot of people, you know, go and buy these really expensive photos at the big brand stores and hang them on their walls. And if you, you know, want to save some money, you can always take your own stock photo pictures and frame them yourself just by the frame. And you can hang up your own images. Uh, these could be your masterpieces in your home. Stock photos are really cool. And this was a cool project for me to work on. I'm glad I did it. And I think I'll get into this a little bit more. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do, leave me some comments in the box below. Let me know if you've ever tried to make your own stock photo images and how they turned out for you. And as always, if you are new to this channel, welcome. Please press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can always see anytime I upload videos to my channel. And as always, for you all that have been riding along with me, thank you for joining me. I hope that you learn something new and exciting today and something that you can use in your journey as a photographer or a photo hobbyist that you just want to know how to do these things. Hi, I'm Liz Calhoun, owner and head photographer of Pose by LCG Photography and Video Services. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so happy that you are here to come and see all of the wonderful information and videos that I have to give to you. Thank you for visiting my page. I hope that you enjoy my content. If so, please subscribe to my channel. Please share my content as well. And don't forget that notification bell. You won't know that I'm uploading information or videos until you press that bell. So thank you again, and I hope to continue to see you visiting my channel.